The whole world is governed by laws, the universe, in fact. We call it the law of electricity. We call it the law of gravity. There's mathematical laws. There's physical laws, speed and velocity laws, agricultural laws. There's all kinds of laws. Now that we find ourselves on the spinning planet, you just have to learn what I call the setup. Learn the setup. Now, we didn't set it up, but we're here, so you got to learn it. And we should learn the setup for two basic reasons. Number one, to keep from getting hurt. It's one of the major reasons for learning so you won't get hurt. See, economically, socially, personally, you can get hurt just not knowing. Ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is poverty. Ignorance is tragedy. You gotta know or you're gonna get hurt. It's good to know not to walk out the 10 story window. That's excellent information. See, there's nothing worse than being stupid. I mean, being broke is bad, but being stupid is awful. And what's really bad is being broken stupid. That's about the end of the world. I mean, there isn't anything much worse than that. So make sure you get the information. It's key. You don't have to like it, but learn it. Now, here's the second reason for learning the setup to benefit. It's called the plus of life. And that's what life is, right? Both minus and plus. The minus is tragedy, heartache, misery, failure, unhappiness. But life is also happiness, prosperity, good feelings. So here's the key. Learn to get on the good side of the way things work. Now, here's two of the basic laws. The first one is the law of use. Whatever you don't use, you lose. Lack of use causes loss. If you tie your arm to your body, leave it there long enough, you'll never use it again. If you quit, you lose automatically. Now, the same thing that goes for your arm goes for your brain, mentality. The same thing goes for all the human virtues. Ambition, unused, declines. Strong feelings, unused, diminish. It's a law. Vitality, unused, diminishes. Energy, unused, decreases. Today, unused is lost. A talent unused is lost. An ability unused is lost. Take a new inventory of yourself and make sure that all of your talent and ability and mentality and ingenuity and vitality and strong feelings, faith, courage, make sure that all you've got's being used. Otherwise, you lose. Now, here's the second one. It's called the law of sowing and reaping. It says, whatever you sow, you shall reap. Don't try to beat it. Whatever you reap, is what you've sown. If you don't like the crop, who do you look up? Answer, whoever planted it. And where do you find who planted your crop? Answer, in the mirror. Setting goals. Here's what can easily happen if you don't set goals. It's easy to let life deteriorate into making a living instead of designing a life. And we all have a choice, make a living or design a life. It's easy to get trapped by economic necessity and settle for existence rather than substance. That's easy. But the best advice I, I can give you on how to break out of that trap is to learn how to set goals. If you have enough reasons. See, reasons will change your whole life. I think you've got plenty of intelligence, you've got plenty of talent, you've got plenty of ability. Probably what you lack is plenty of reasons. I don't think your current bank balance is a true indication of your level of intelligence. You don't have enough reasons. So see, reasons can change your life. Reasons come first, answers come second. You don't get the answers to do well till you get the reasons. Life has a mysterious way of hanging on to all the answers and only gives them up to the people that are inspired by reasons. So reasons make the difference in how your life works out. Now, what are some of the reasons for doing well? First is personal reasons. Some people do well for recognition. Some people do well for respect. Some people do well for the way it makes them feel. They love the feeling of being a winner. Those are good reasons. I have some millionaire friends that keep working 10, 12 hours a day, making more millions. And it's not because they need the money. It's because they need the joy and the satisfaction and the pleasure that comes from being a constant winner. And see, it's not just the money anyway. It's the journey, not the money.